So we all know how fast the Seattle skyline is changing. There is record growth downtown. Some big time developers really driving demand right now. But one new developer coming to town and many feel he will help transform this city into a world class town. You might be thinking there's another one. More record growth downtown that will probably turn into some big building. And in a sense, you're right. But to truly understand exactly what's happening here, you have to travel to Vancouver, Canada and meet the visionary behind it. Ian Gillespie, when he's not feeding the office dogs, is growing his $10 billion worldwide empire. When people experience our buildings, there's a degree of artistry there, there's a soul there. The mundane title of developer doesn't quite fit, despite the fact his company West Bank, which Gillespie started in the early 90s, is single-handedly shaping the Vancouver skyline. His name is on a hundred towers across Canada and Tokyo, like this one in Vancouver's historic Gastown neighborhood. A decade ago, he restored the old Woodward's department store with condos, affordable living, and a community gathering space. From hotels to housing, each building is more gutsy, and each has Gillespie's signature artistic style. We see so much mediocrity. We see so much background buildings. Uh, and I and I they make me very sad. Beauty is something that really matters. It make it enriches people's lives. His newest project is impossible to miss. Vancouver House is the ingenious answer to a simple problem. How do you make the most out of a tiny triangle lot along Vancouver's Granville Street Bridge? Around the world today, that building is considered you know the finest high rise in the in the world. It's disorienting to look at. 375 condo units in all, each with its own unique floor plan. It's a work of art from an artist. That's more Gillespie's style. You'll find art galleries in most of his buildings and a portion of his vast collection of couture dresses, many on display in one of his hotels. Why is a city going to be successful? It needs to inspire you. It, you need to want to live there as opposed to living in the suburbs. Surely we can do better than just house a person or office a person. We should be able to inspire uh, people. Just imagine Vancouver's most eye-catching high-rise towering over downtown Seattle. It'd stick out like a sore thumb. That's not exactly what West Bank has planned. Instead, there are three projects in the works. The first at 707 Terry, right there. It looks more like a work of art. At 1200 Stewart, these towers have a similar architectural expression. And there's this one at 3rd and Virginia, Gillespie calls First Light. Like Gillespie's projects, this 47-story tower with rooftop swimming pool is designed to be as energy efficient as you can get. We think that we will help establish a higher bar. I think Seattle needs developers like that, a little more edge to them, a little more pizzazz. Chris Garvin knows a thing or two about Seattle development. His firm Cadence Real Estate has hundreds of millions of dollars in projects in Seattle and says West Bank's arrival marks the beginning of a new era. We're getting more of international developers here. You know, uh, Bosa did a deal. Insignia a couple of years ago, great, great, great job. And, you know, Vancouver is a condo town and Seattle just isn't that way yet. But many of the units inside First Light are luxury condos in a city that's facing the worst homeless and affordability crisis on record. The question is, how do you respond to that? And I don't think this is a win-lose. My product doesn't appeal to some to to, to rich people on the luxury side of things. My project appeals to people um, where aesthetics matter, where great design matters. Now with a new canvas, Gillespie is stretching the boundaries of what's possible yet again with the eyes of the world closely watching. I think that Seattle is right at the cusp of this incredible transformation and I wanna be part of it. As we heard in our six o'clock hour, the architect on that amazing project that's coming to Seattle, First Light, is UW graduate Jim Chang, a frequent collaborator with Gillespie. You just go through the body of work on West Bank's website. The picture's just amazing, some of the designs. It'll be neat to see that in Seattle. Also, I'm gonna direct you to Realogic Sotheby's. They put together this great interactive map that we'll post on king5.com with this story, showing all the projects in the pipeline, Mimi. Downtown, boy, you see cranes all over the place. You see construction. It's not slowing down, which is just incredible. And I think one thing that Gillespie is really zeroing in on, A, is the energy efficiency of everything he does, 
but also this idea of urbanization, people moving downtown. We're going to see more of that in Seattle, too. Well, it's, some of those buildings are so interesting because architecturally they're beautiful, mm -hmm. but it could bring people to Seattle just right. to check them out, right. you know, put us on the map in terms of, of unique yeah, buildings. and one of the brilliances is finding the essence of the neighborhood and being a part of it, you know, yeah. instead of just plopping down an old building. So, yeah, what an interesting interview, and uh, looking forward to seeing that thing go up. Absolutely. Yeah.